The first type of macromolecule we'll consider are carbohydrates, also called glycans or polysaccharides. Carbohydrates get their name from their chemical formula, which is C plus H2O, okay, to get CH2O, carbon plus water. Now if you take this CH2O and multiply it by N, which is the number of carbons, you get the chemical formula for simple sugars. For instance, glucose, a hexose, has six carbons. And to get the chemical formula for glucose, you multiply CH2O by six, and you get C6H12O6. The other most common type of sugar in a cell have five carbons, and those are called pentoses. This is a perfectly valid way of drawing a glucose molecule, or the structure of a glucose molecule. But you have to realize that in cells, glucose molecules are in water. And in water, glucose molecules circularize to form these cyclic type structures. In water, the simple sugars like glucose and, uh, and uh, also five carbon sugars like pentose can link up. or through these covalent bonds called glycosidic bonds, which is shown here. The glycosidic bonds involve the hydroxyls on these sugars. Since these sugars have multiple hydroxyls, each sugar can bond to more than two other sugars. And the result is that you get branched chain structures. The cell uses carbohydrates, glycans, or polysaccharides for energy storage, as in starch or glycogen, or for structural purposes, such as cellulose, for plant cells. 